Hi guys, welcome to tactical plan number three of the three basic tactical plans. Now this is a basic tactical plan, technically speaking, but execution wise, it is not very basic. So you'll see this tactical plan utilized by the pros and it is not really recommended for club players to use this uh, tactical plan unless they are pretty consistent with their shots. So let's get started. Okay, so we just uh, covered two tactical plans. This is the third basic tactical plan, and I only call this a basic tactical plan because it is one of the uh, more common tactical plans that you'll see the pros do a lot. I do not recommend this for club curlers per se, unless you have confidence in your team that you can execute these shots. Um, but this is where the non-hammer team plays to the middle and the hammer team plays to uh, the wings, regardless of what's happening uh, with their opponent's stones. So in this example, the non-hammer team throws up a center guard and then the uh, hammer team will throw up a corner guard. So the uh, non-hammer team would just go ahead and throw another center guard perhaps instead of coming right to the house. And the hammer team comes around their corner guard into the house. And again, this is where you need to be able to execute this come around, you know, a good corner guard and a come around. So now uh, the hammer team or the non-hammer team is being a little bit risky here because the hammer team is set up uh, to score two. They already have a stone in the house, but the non-hammer team just comes around to the center. Now they're set up for a steal. So both teams are kind of set up to score um, and have confidence ob obviously in their abilities to either steal or score multiple points. The hammer team needs to have confidence that their team can make double runbacks. In order to execute this tactical plan, your team needs to be, be able to make double runbacks in order to open this up uh, to get at that uh, stone on the button. Or if maybe it's poking out a little bit, you know, again, you're banking on your team not being able to execute this, your opponent not being able to execute this so you can come around, bump this out or something. So what happens here is they make the double run back. Great. They move their stone out of the way. Um, so the non-hammer team throws up another center guard. And then the hammer team, great, another double run back. So they executed well. They've opened it up. They have a stone in the house. They're definitely set up to score two here. But let's say, for example, we go back and they made um, a double run back, but now they need to make this second double run back. And let's say they miss it. They kind of hit it on the nose a bit and it shoots, let's say it just shoots by here between this port. And now they're just off center with that stone. And so the non-hammer team is going to throw up another center guard. And now it's starting to get junky here, right? Do we need to make this double because we're covering the forefoot in two places now. So we're running out of stones and there's getting set up to steal and we're starting to junk up the center. So you can see where it can be risky if you don't, if you can't execute your uh, shots. So again, this is a basic tactical plan of where the non hammer team plays to the middle and the hammer team plays to the wings. You'll see the pros doing it a lot and you'll see club players trying to execute it. But again, if you can't execute these shots, this is not a tactical plan that I would recommend. You know, I would recommend the hit everything uh, tactical plan over this because your team can really get into some trouble if you don't execute your shots.